Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, Are legit. They do what they say they'll do, and it's worth it. That's just another example of why you need LifeLock Identity Theft. And they charge the people a dollar and a half. How many cases that he's investigated, and will uh, will be opening up the phone? Yeah. I only turned my air conditioning so it down. seems like we've got it running again. Let me try FM here. Yeah. Um, I can yeah. find the button. Ooh, see? <clears throat> Popped right in. That noise that was on the outside of it was uh... now I can get more stations and it's clear as a bell <clears throat> okay what did I do let me show you um, <clears throat> I changed the AM FM uh, subsystem this is the entire radio on one chip and flipping this thing over it's this little kind of messy looking uh, surface mount chip. I haven't cleaned the flux off the board yet. Um, what this thing has, this this board here, the display is its own little circuit and it runs without the display. But the radio board itself, you have an 8-bit microprocessor chip with an off-board double EEPROM to store your stations in non-volatile RAM. In other words, if the power is turned off, it doesn't lose the stations. And you have a very interesting chip, to me anyway, is this. This is the TEA or TDA 8552T, which is a two-channel, 1.4 watts per channel uh, audio amplifier with a digital volume control and a headphone sensing circuit, which is cool. Um, again, it's all controlled by the bus. The I, that I2C, I say I2C, it's supposed to be I squared C. It's easier to say I2C. Anyway, that controls the, uh, the amplifier. Now, this is stereo only in the headphones. For the speaker, it takes the signal out on one line to the analog, pure analog, uh, amplifier chip, a five watt amplifier chip right here. And that's only one channel mono. One of the things I don't like about this, and it's part of the problem with the noise, is these two two wires here, they're each two conductor a piece and they're not shielded. One of them is 12 volts, one of them is 5 volts, that's in this cord, and this other cord is audio out to the amplifier and ground. One single ground for the whole thing. Poor design. What they do, they have these fastened to the cast metal frame of the radio as shielding and that's they could have put a couple of ferrite donuts on it i may still do that but anyway the part that this has that i don't know why it's here is this right here this chip here is a um, 74 hc 4060 which is a what's called a 14 stage binary ripple counter with oscillator I don't know why it's here. The microprocessor has its own oscillator. It seems to me that this is a an unnecessary part. I mean, it, it, it's like, I don't know, gilding the lily? Who knows? I have a feeling this is for the self-tuning part of the radio. In other words, the signal seeking. Uh, I'm not sure yet because I haven't traced out the pins and I have no schematic for this radio. But I'm just thrilled that it's working again. And uh, it was this chip and... Uh, uh, I was fortunate that was the only chip I had. How often, how lucky can you get when that's the only chip you happen to have? And I took it off of this this spare tuning board I had. This was from an old junk Philips compact shelf stereo from 1999. And it had a bad CD player. And I saved the tuner module from it because it also used the I2C bus. And uh, it had the same chip, the TEA5757 chip. So that, I was very careful to take out the chip uh, carefully. And I don't know how you guys do it. I remove surface mount chips with a piece of magnet wire. Slide the magnet wire underneath the legs of the chip. If I can get in here with this thing. I slide the magnet wire 
under the chips, then heat each pin with the, the, the point of soldering iron as I'm pulling on the wire, and it pulls the pins up and away from the board without damaging the board. Then clean it up and put in the new chip. So anyway, this is working, and now I'm going to put it all back together again, and hopefully it'll work just peachy keen when it's done. It's been a, an interesting radio to work on. Okay, so stand by. <laughs>